Dear students, let's solve this question. A triangle with vertices 4 comma 0 and minus 1 comma minus 1 and 3 comma 5 is okay. So the question is ki agar koi triangle in vertices in coordinates se banta hai, to wo kis type ka triangle hoga? Hame ye find karna. Okay. So chali start karte hai. Sabse pehle hum likhenge given. And given are the points. So let's write it here. Points A. Let's say the first point is A, which is uh, 4, comma 0. B is minus 1, comma minus 1, and C is 3, comma 5. These are the points. Okay. So let's start its solution. Take it. Which is figure out karne ke liye ki क्या नेचर होगा इस ट्रायंगल का हमें तीनों साइड्स फाइंड करनी है ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल फाइंड ए बी सेकंड वी विल फाइंड बी सी एंड थर्ड वी विल फाइंड ए सी जब तीनों साइड्स हमारे पास होंगी लेंथ ऑफ तीनों साइड्स हमारे पास हो तो हम पता लगा सकते हैं कि वो किस टाइप का ट्रायंगल होगा सो लेट्स फाइंड टू फाइंड ए बी टू फाइंड ए बी ए बी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट x2 minus x1 whole raise to power 2 plus y2 minus y1 whole raise to power 2. Okay. So, now here the fact is that x1 is what, y1 is what, x2 is what, y2 is what. So, let's write it here. Here, x1 is equal to 4. x2 is equal to minus 1. y1 is equal to 0. And y2 is equal to minus 1. Okay. So, AB is equal to, it is uh, minus 1, minus 4, whole is to power 2, plus minus 1, minus 0, whole is to power 2. And then, this is minus 1, minus 4, that is minus 5, whole is to power 2, plus minus 1 raised to power 2. Okay. Then, here we will get 25 plus 1, and it is, root 26. So, value of AB is under root 26. Now, come to the second side. Second side is BC. We will find BC. So, BC is also equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole is to power 2 plus y2 minus y1 whole is to power 2. Now, what is the value of x2 and x1 here? And y2 and y1 here we will write. So we can say here x1 is equal to minus 1, x2 is equal to 3, y1 is equal to minus 1, and y2 it is equal to 5. Alright. So put this value here. We will get bc is equal to 3 minus minus 1 whole is to power 2 plus 5 minus minus 1 whole is to power. And again, you will get 3 plus 1, okay, 3 plus 1, minus 1, and this is minus, 3 plus 1 whole is to power 2 plus 5 minus 1 minus 1, that is 5 plus 1, it is 6 whole raised to power 2, okay. Now, this is 4 raised to power 2, and this is 6 raised to power 2, and you will get under root 16 plus 36, alright. So, they you have pass kya value at you will get under root 52. This is a under root 52. Now let's find the another side that is CA. Okay. Again, CA ke liye bhi hum distance formula ka apply karenge. That is x2 minus x1 whole is to power 2 plus y2 minus y1 whole is to power 2. Ab yahan par jo x1, x2 ki values hai, wo kya hai, wo bhi dekhte hai x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 4, y1 is equal to 5, and y2 is equal to 0. This is the point. So, let's start. CA is equal to, this is 4 minus 3 whole is to power 2, plus 0 minus 5 whole is to power 2. 
and this is 4 minus 3 means 1 raised to power 2. 0 minus 5 means minus 5 whole raised to power 2. And here you will get 1 plus 25 and it is under root 26. Okay. So, from the above and from this value, you can see that two sides ki value same hai, or third side ki value different hai, that is BC. It is under root 52. Okay. तो यहां से तो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि दो ये जो ट्रायंगल है ये कैसा ट्रायंगल है आइसोसेलस ट्रायंगल अब क्योंकि ऑप्शंस में हमें गिवन है तो हम ये भी चेक कर लेते हैं कि क्या ये राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल है या नहीं तो राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल के लिए जो कंडीशन हमें यूज करनी होगी टू चेक कंडीशन ऑफ राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल कंडीशन ऑफ राइट ट्रायंगल सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ टू साइड मस्ट बी इक्वल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ थर्ड साइड सो लेट्स चेक दिस कंडीशन BC रेस टू पावर 2 AB स्क्वायर प्लस CA स्क्वायर ओके ये चेक करके देखो तो जब BC की वैल्यू आप रखेंगे इट इज अंडर रूट 52 स्क्वायर AB is under root 26 square and again this is under root 26 square. This is 52, this is 26 plus 26. So this is 52 and this is 52. Both are equal. So you can say this condition is applicable for the given condition of the triangle. So you can say that the given triangle is isosceles right triangle. So let's write our final answer. So, we can write here, hence, given triangle is isosceles and right triangle, isosceles and right triangle, or you can say isosceles right triangle. And the correct option is A. Okay, thank you. I hope your doubt is clear with this video. If it's so, then please like it, share it with your friends. And if you still have a doubt, then you may share your query either through comment section or you may contact me. Contact details are available in a description box. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Free live online mass classes for class 9th and 10th daily at 9 p.m. only on YouTube. So don't forget it, join it, see you there. Jai Hind.